Good evening. This is Reverend Emmons coming to bring the encouraging word tonight. First, give an honor to God, to Pastor Smith for allowing me time to bring this encouraging word. Simply says, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusted in him. And that comes out Psalm 34. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for your word today. Pray, O oh God, that you will help us to take it and apply it and stand on the trusted. Forgive us of our sins if we have done or said anything not pleasing in your sight, God. We ask that you would forgive us. Thank you, Lord, for your word. It simply says, O oh, taste and see. In order for us to find out whether it's good or not, we have to taste it. And that's what we have to do with the word of God. We have to taste the word of God through reading, through studying, through meditating, through hiding it in our heart so that we can taste and know that God said no good thing will he withhold from them who walk up rightly before him. That we can taste and see that the Lord said he's good for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. We have to taste the word of God for ourselves to know that the Lord is our light and our salvation. Whom shall we fear? He is the strength of our life and whom shall we be afraid? We have to taste the word of God to know that the Lord is our shepherd we shall not want. We have to taste the word of God to know that God is our refuge and strength of very present help in a time of trouble. If we do not open up the word of God, if we do not taste the word of God through study, through meditation, through hiding in our heart, we won't know the promises of God. We won't know that God is a good God because we won't know him. And to know him is to love him, is to praise him, is to worship him, is to seek him. And we can only know him through tasting him through his word and standing on the word that God does say, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So, oh, taste and see. You got to see for yourself. You can't go on what grandmama and what mom and what dad had tasted, you know, for themselves. You know, you have to taste it for yourself so that you can know for yourself that God is good. You are the only one who can vouch that God is good for you. I can't vouch for you. The pastor can't vouch for you. You have to vouch for yourself. And you have to know that you know that God is good. That you have to know through tasting through his word that when you get a report from the doctor that God is good, that he'll be your Jehovah Rophah. You have to know through the word of God. Because if you don't taste the word of God, then whatever comes down through your life, you'll just receive it. But you won't believe God because you have not tasted him. To know that he's a good God. To know that he will do what he says he will do. To know that he's a God that cannot, shall not, will not lie. You have to taste him for yourself. And know that he's good. The word of God said, blessed is the man that trusteth trust in the Lord. Hallelujah. How can you be blessed? How can you be blessed? You know, people walk around and say, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. But do they really know that they are blessed? Happy is a man that trusted in the Lord. Hallelujah. That you know that God will see you through, that he'll never leave you nor forsake you. That he'll be with you to the end of the world. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. He's a good God. The good and plenty said, mmm, good. The word of God says it's sweeter than the honey down the honeycomb. The word of God. You can take it and apply it and stand on it and trust it. God is good. And you don't have to go on because people say the cliche, God is good. And you hear them say all the time, God is good. Well, do you really know that God is good? When you look at the Facebook, you have all these inspirational sayings, but do people really know have they really tasted God? Or are they just going and getting the inspirational sayings off of the inspirational collection that they have? Do you know that God is good? You can find out that he's good through the word of God, tasting it. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. I will never leave you nor forsake you, he said in Hebrews. 24, Psalm 8, the one, the earth is the Lord's, the fullness of the world, and they that dwell therein. 
Psalm 46, 1, God is a refuge and strength, a very present help in a time of trouble. You got to taste and see that the Lord is good. No good thing will he withhold from them who walk uprightly before him. Delight yourself in the Lord. He shall give you the desires of your heart. Taste and see that the Lord is good because he is a good God. But the only way that you will know for yourself is that you got to taste him through the word of God. We sometimes have so much time to do this, that, and the other. But how much time do we have to open up the word of God? To study a chapter a day. To see what God has to say to us. To know that he's our refuge and strength. To know that he sent his word and healed and delivered from destruction. To know that he promised that he would never leave me nor forsake me. So whatever comes down through our life, the Lord is always there. Oh, taste and see. See for yourself that the Lord is good. Open up the word for yourself. Pray for yourself. The word said pray without ceasing. Pray for yourself. Yes, we thank God that our pastor prays for us, but pray for yourself. Pray your situation through. Stand on the promise and believe God. Worship him in spirit and in truth. Trust him. Stand on the promises. Oh, taste and see for yourself that the Lord is good. He put clapping in your hands, stomping in your feet. Give you good. You'll give him glory. Hallelujah. You'll tell him thank you because of who he is. His praise, you will praise him. Because he is God. So I say to you tonight. Oh taste and see for yourself. That the Lord is good. David changed his behavior. Before Amalek who drove him away and he departed. And he started out saying he will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Well oh taste and see. That the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. You can cast all your cares, burdens, anxieties over to the Lord. Everything that we go through, every trial, tribulation, situation, circumstance. We can taste and see that the Lord is still good. We can take our yoke upon, take our yoke upon him and learn of him. We can taste him. Through his word. So I hope that I've encouraged you. I hope that I've encouraged myself even more. To continue to taste and see. Some things you may not like. Some things you may throw up. Some things may be hard to go down. But I know that the word of God. When he says oh taste and see. That God knows what we need. And he will never leave us nor forsake us. He'll be with us to the end of the world. So I say to us all, oh, taste and see, even through bringing, bringing us through the pandemic. Some of us had the COVID, some of us was hospitalized, but seeing that God brought us through, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed, happy is a man that trusteth in the Lord. Are you happy today? Are you tasting today? Are you hungry today? Are you thirsty today? The, the Lord will give you drink. He'll give you food. You know, just taste him. Just taste him. You want your thirst quenched? Taste him. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusts him in him. God bless you. Thank you, Pastor Smith, for this time to, for, to encourage us all to taste and see. Don't stop tasting because the Lord is good. God bless you. God be with you and keep you.